Um, okay, let's see. I see one question from Homan. He says, uh, Dear K, you said that USCJPY may be spiky, but if you find all the confirmations on a 4 hour and 1 hour and 30 and 5, still don't trade. So let me answer to that question first. I think this is an important question to everyone who use my strategy. So again, USCJPY. So here is the USDJPY again in the daily time frame it's flat because Kumo flat Kijun Sen is down and Kijun Sen in the Kumo now so we can't really trust this down Kijun Sen it won't go down I think but rather this is bullish because it broke the Kumo and also uh, in price action this is double bottom and neckline breakout happened. So in terms of the price action, also the Kumo breakout reasons, this is now bullish. A weekly time frame shows still bullish because the price is above the Tenkan Sen and Chikou span above candles. So it may break resistance is my first impression. But again, this is spiky, right? Um, if you look at the daily time frame, it's spiky. Like um, the market has been up and down, ups and downs so far. And uh, so although it broke the neckline and broke the Kumo, it may reverse tomorrow or sometime this week. So that's the first impression. But let's say if this is the only pair that is trending based on the 4 hour and HYM30, and if you get the entry confirmation on the 5 minute, then I take it. I still take it. And simply if the market goes backwards, I will exit with the right time, with a small loss. But again, that will be the only case if this one is the only pair that is trending up. Most likely, I think if this one will be up, I think the other USD pairs might be up or the other uh, JPY pair, maybe AUD JPY, might be bullish also and it might breaking the resistance. So practically speaking, uh, I might see some other trending pairs at the same time. In that case, I think I don't trade this one. Because this is a bit spiky. So, you know, sometimes when you screen charts, when you screen charts like multiple uh, pairs at the same time, just like I do, you may see some multiple pairs trending at the same time, and you may wonder which one to pick. Because everything is, let's say, breaking the resistances and goes up. So, but you have to pick one to trade. That's what I do. I don't trade all these pairs that are trending up. I never do because I will be risking more than 2% on the whole account. So I don't do that. But instead, I pick one. I choose one to trade. And which one to choose is based on the spikiness. On the lower time frames and also the the shape of the kumo um, if you look at the shape of the kumo and if the kumo is too small on the trending time frame let's say if you look at the four hour chart so in this case USJPY four hour chart kumo is looking okay this is not too thin this is not too small this is not like the newborn kumo but this is uh, stable stably up kumo so if you follow the 4 hour time frame, there was also a nice bounce on the Tenkan Sen. We have a doji candles for the last two candles, but once it breaks, once a doji breakout happens here and goes up, then that will make the Kumo and Kijun Sen turn bullish. And you can take this one and uh, uh, look for the buying edge in the 5 minute. That's fine. That's possible. Um, so, but if you have longer and thicker Kumo on other pairs, then you better pick the other pair. Uh, but if a USDJPY Kumo is the best, looks bigger and thicker among all the all the other trending pairs, then you pick this one to follow and trade. So that's what I mean by you know waiting for uh, you know picking which one. To, to trade I mean uh, so again we can't take all the all the 
market to trade. We have to pick one eventually. Because let's say when USDJPY goes up, the most likely, I mean, for sure, that will be either strong USD or weak JPY that pushes up the USDJPY pair, right? As a pair. So let's say if the, if the breakout is caused by the strong USD, that means the other pairs, the other USD pairs, USD base pairs might be trending up at the same time. So, yeah, you may wonder which one to pick, but the best option to, to choose which one to pick is by looking at the spikiness on the lower time frames and also the Kumo shape in higher time frame. That is my recommendation. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail of the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market start to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Alright, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.